water fasting um, has been going on for at least 5,000, 6,000 years that we know of. Um, it's definitely recorded in the Bible and in and almost all um, other spiritual practices you'll find that people water fast. Water is pretty special and we'll go into what it really is in another time. But the question is why should I water fast? Why would someone water fast? What's the benefits of a water fast? Well, it's the only cure handed down by nature. Okay? Why do I say that? Because every creature when they're sick stops eating and they drink just water. They don't drink a lot but they drink enough to keep them hydrated and that's it and they rest until they're well. So that, that, that's the universal cure. So why should I water fast? Well, when we look at um, what people call disease, what it really is, and, and in other videos we've gone over what disease is, but disease is basically the body's response to an accumulation of toxins. Okay, and those are toxins could have accumulated in the liver, the heart, uh, coronary arteries, uh, whatever, but they accumulate all over in the joints, wherever they're accumulating, and um, uh, then the body needs to adapt to that. That adaptation is what we call a disease. Whether it's diabetes, hypertension, or whatever it is. Cancer, doesn't matter what it is. So that's what it is. So if that's what is the underlying etiology, the underlying cause, then clearly clean up, clean it out. Now how do you clean it out? Well you can do a juice cleanse, you can do a, a clay and lemon and all sorts of things or you can do the ultimate. The ultimate, the king of them all, is water. Okay, our body's 70% water. It needs water, 70% plus. And it decreases as we age because we become dehydrated. At around the age of 20, we are thirsty. Uh, knock on the head, turns into hunger. When you f just drink water, what's happening is <clears throat> your body needs glucose. It has to have glucose. Uh, after 72 hours, you use up all the stored glucose in your body. It takes about 72 hours. And during those first three days, those first 72 hours, is the hardest part of a water fast. That's the part where your appetite is fighting you. It's screaming. It's being very subtle. As I said, as you get past the 72 hours, you start, uh, the body starts living on fat. That's how we, then we measure it, we look at, we do finger sticks, we look at your ketone level. Ketones are the, there's three different ketone molecules that are, that are breakdown products of fat that are used for energy. Okay, so it takes, a, the body takes fat, breaks it into ketones, and then uses it. By measuring the ketone level, we're able to see how much fat you have and, how, and, and if you're truly not on a glucose diet. So we look at glucose and ketones. And if your glucose is, is high and your ketones are low, what do we know? You're still eating or, or you're still consuming glucose or it's the first three days of the water fast. After day four of the water fast, we should see the glucose go down and the ketones go up, okay? In a prolonged water fast, we're gonna see glucose go up again because your body's now eating uh, non-viable pathological tissues that you're happy about. So you, you like to get rid of those stuff. Of those things. So anyway, the ketone, we look at ketone levels and uh, ideally in uh, what's, uh, uh, w when we do ketogenic diets, which is another topic, uh, we look to get the glucose to ketone ratio at less than 1.0. That always happens with water fasting. Uh, so water fasting is the ultimate ketogenic diet. Just keep that in mind. Uh, the benefits are that you, you get a new, uh, it's, it's the same as uh, when you go to sleep at night. You go to sleep, you're, you're, you're tired, you've, you've, you've had a long day, your, your energy is depleted. You, it's like you're, you're blessed. You get a new, a new beginning, a new chance. You're renewed. And water fasting is the ultimate renewal. It's, it, because basically when you're not eating and you're not, your body is not needing to process whatever you're doing, it then cleans house. You wouldn't think of driving a nice car a BMW without changing the oil at least every three months. Okay, same thing. If you don't, uh, we don't do, we don't change our oil, we don't rotate our tires, and yet we expect high performance. It's irrational. Um, anyway, that's the fundamentals of a water fast, the reason why we do it. And who should do it? Look to the person to the left of you, and the person to the right of you, and the person in the back of you, and the person in front of you, and then look in the mirror and you'll see who should do it.